In the following demonstration, we'll create a rotor dynamics analysis to create a Campbell diagram to find critical speeds on a cyclic symmetric section of a rotor. This is a continuation of the cyclic symmetric nonlinear pre stress modal analysis. Here I've cloned our solution 401 and I've removed the rotational preload. So we just have a cyclic modes solution. Here we can uh, take a look at the first mode in harmonic index 0. And we see that the frequency is 319 hertz. Now this is not our first mode. First mode shows up in harmonic index 1 at 310 hertz. You can see that's the first bending mode. If we take a look at harmonic index 2, you can see we have a higher mode there, and that's with harmonic index 2. So for our rotor dynamics analysis, to find our first critical speed, we're going to focus in on harmonic index 1, because we can only take a look at one harmonic index at a time for a cyclic symmetric rotor dynamics analysis. So here we'll go ahead and create our, our new rotor dynamics solution, 414.110, and here's where we're going to create our Campbell diagram. So we'll begin in the case control section where we'll specify that we want to look at the first harmonic index. And then we'll specify our solution options in the bulk data section to specify the parameters for our Campbell diagram. Here we'll put in our starting speed and step size that we're going to graph. I like to specify those in uh, revolutions per second as that corresponds directly to the frequency of the modes. All right, and then lastly, uh, let's go ahead and uh, deactivate our cyclic modes solution so that when we add our cyclic symmetry and uh, user-defined constraint to our solution that will end up in the global containers not in the subcase. Now we also need to specify a rotor modeling assembly region for our rotor dynamics solution. So we'll go ahead and specify the mesh and keep the defaults. And now we'll specify how many modes we'd like to recover. So we'll go for four real modes and also four complex. All right, so at this point we're ready to solve. I'll go ahead and pause the video here. And you can see it takes just a little under three minutes uh, to run through those 100 steps recovering the modes. And it also automatically will create all of the graphs for us uh, for our Campbell diagram. So here we'll go for the 1P line and our first four modes. We'll go ahead and plot those all together so that we can uh, see what our critical speeds are. So here if we follow along the 1P line where it intersects the various mode lines, we can see our first critical speed is at 14,400 RPM at 237 Hz. And then our second critical speed is at 19,200 RPM and our third is at 46,200 RPM. And that concludes the demonstration.